Hey guys, it's Sonic here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I just trampled a crop. Welcome back to episode number two of our Minecraft Let's Play series. Today, welcome back, guys. It's good to see you once again. Um, a lot of support on the first episode, really, like overwhelming. Like, thank you very much. I've got a, I got a lot of messages, a lot of comments on our video, uh, and a lot of feedback, and that's awesome. I love that. Um, that's a lot. I mean, that's that's like motivation for me, you know. Uh, it makes me happy. It makes me very happy. I love it. But we did this in our first video. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't watch it, go back and see it. We did this little log cabin here. Looks pretty good so far. I did a little bit of things here. A little bit of things. Um, I did. What did I do off camera? I filled in the sides here with the with the spruce wood. Filled those in. I put a floor down. I'm also starting to move our stuff up here slowly but surely. Uh, and I also finished, um, finished the smoke, because we didn't, we didn't totally finish it, uh, in, in the last video, but, uh, did just a few little things to make it, uh, look better, and I think it does. I think it looks a little better. I have an idea right here. I want to put little, um, posts up so you can put your horses here. You can tie your, your lead to the, to the fence here and, uh, keep your horses on the side. But today, <coughs> I want to... I have a few things in mind. Um, first of all, I want to get to work on the interior of the house. I want to start laying out the interior uh, because I think this is going to be like the main house in this area. Uh, I want it to be a two-story home, and I want to be able to have a fireplace here too. Um, I think this is the middle. Could be wrong. Is this the middle? Where's the middle? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the middle right here. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the chimney that goes up right here. Uh, oh. What did I do? What did I do? That needs to stay there, I think. Yeah, that needs to stay there. So this is going to be the fireplace. I want to get to work on this. I want this to feel very warm inside. Of course, we're going to have a fireplace. Um, I don't know how to turn fire tick off. But I want to be able to do, to do that because if we put a fire here, then this whole place is going to burn down and I don't want that to happen. Uh, so I want to figure that out, uh, how to turn fire tick off. But for now, what I want to do right now is, as you can see, I started laying out some gravel blocks with torches on top. These are going to be pathways, little roadways throughout this uh, city, throughout this place here. Uh, so we're going to build some roadways today. I want to figure out a roadway design. Um with different blocks and I had a pattern in mind let's grab a few materials here grab a few materials and get to work first off let me clear this mess uh, I want to keep some gravel I want to keep some spruce wood let's get rid of that uh, these can go here do, do, do. let's grab some of that uh, maybe a little bit of that let's put the rest of this crap away oh I burped sorry I just woke up not so long ago. It's um, it's a day after New Year's Day, so it's the second of January. So, I uh, hope everybody had a happy New Year. I didn't really do much. Uh, I just kind of stayed at home, played some video games with my friend, and that was that. Um, <laughs> didn't do anything crazy, like uh, I didn't go out and party or anything like that. Just kind of chilled, which uh, sometimes that's the best thing to do. You know, just watch the ball drop and. And just have a good time by yourself. Not that I was by myself. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I need food bad. Like, holy crap. Food has been terrible. I've been very bad at food stuffs. I've been trying to keep that wheat farm going. Uh, really quick, let's get some gravel here. I need dirt. We're going to have to get some dirt here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get some dirt. Uh, so yeah, a lot of support on uh, on the last video. That means a ton to me. That's a lot of motivation. Like I don't know, it it, it drives me a little bit to see that um, you guys are actually watching and uh, commenting, interacting. I love comments. Comments uh, comments to me. I don't know. I I just like comments. I like comments better than anything else. Subscribe. Sub Subscribers, likes, anything like that. I, I just like comments. I like reading your guys' comments. 
and seeing what you guys think of, you know, that particular build or what we're doing in the episode. All right, I need some more iron. I got to make a new shovel. Let's go past here. This is going to be filled in, so that cave is not going to stay there forever. Trust me. Um, it's starting to get a little annoying as it is. Okay, and, and yeah, I'm going to have to make some sticks here. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, because I'm going to need a, a, a few stacks of dirt, I think, for uh, the coarse dirt. I want to try out the coarse dirt blocks. And in 1.9, they're coming out with path blocks, which that could be cool. Uh, we could try those out. I could actually switch to the snapshot now, but I'd r I would rather not. I would rather wait until the release is out. That way everybody's playing it. And, um, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right to go right into 1.9 without them actually releasing it. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to wait for 1.9. Uh, unless you guys want to see that. I don't know. If you guys want to see some 1.9 action, maybe we'll consider switching over. Uh, but for now, I think we're okay. Uh, cause we're just, we're just getting started out, you know, all the 1.9 features are kind of advanced, you know, you have the wings, the, the potion, the brewing, uh, changes and all that, so, plus all the stuff in the end, I mean, we're not in any position to switch over to 1.9 right now anyway, so, I'm just gonna chill right here in, in 1.8.9, um, I did consider adding a texture pack, I don't know how you guys would feel about that, uh, texture packs kind of enhance the gameplay a little bit. I don't know. Depends on which one you're using. If you're using like a, a realistic one, I think for me, I like the realistic ones a lot better. But um, I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's make some coarse dirt here. A couple stacks of that. Really cool, really cool. Need some gravel. Only 32 gravel. That's okay. We'll, we'll just get through what we have here with a little portion so here's what I had in mind for a path design uh, <clears throat> if we just break this up some uh, by the way this path is gonna go around to the lake around the lake probably this way too and uh, we're gonna put various like a fishing I had an idea for a fishing shack a um, few little shops here and there but mostly houses because this area is very dense very wooded uh, this is not like prime city landscape you know so we're gonna save that for uh, we're gonna save like the the town building for a different area because um, what I want to do with this world is I want to build throughout the world I want different towns different different cities throughout the world um, I want it to be as realistic as possible and for this area I had an idea for like an 1800s like Civil War time period uh, style of building so like these log cabins uh, get out of the way you friggin freak so like these log cabins everywhere um, you know horse and buggy maybe a little bit of shops like a general store or something but nothing crazy so, um, so yeah that's what I had in mind for that okay let's get started on this I'm gonna break this up a little bit more uh, let's just lay down some gravel I had an idea for gravel spruce wood and uh, coarse dirt because the coarse dirt doesn't turn into grass so I think that'd be a good little thing it's already nighttime jeez just slept just freaking slept so how you guys doing hope you guys had an excellent new year I think I already said that um, today today I had some plans to record a setup video so if you guys are interested in a setup video let me know I would love to do like a little tour of my setup. Um, it's not all the way complete. If you guys follow me on Twitter, my Twitter account is at SonicSite. Um, I talk a little bit about my setup. This guy, man, get out of my way. Talked a little bit about my setup, and I thought about doing a setup video as my first video, but I got kind of anxious. You know, I wanted to play some Minecraft. Um, but if you guys want to see a setup video, I would be more than happy to do that. The only thing is, I don't have an actual camera, uh, so it would be on my phone, which I don't know how bad or good the quality would be, but I'm sure we can figure something out. I need food right now, like right now. Um, 
to make some bread. Can make two pieces of bread. That'll be fine. Uh, I have to go off camera and get some food shortly. Uh, but once we figure out this pathway design, I think we'll be all right. Okay, put a little bit of wood here and there. A little bit of wood in a path, just to give it some texture. A little something something. And the rest can be coarse dirt. Because the way I picture this pathway, I picture it being trampled by horses, horse and buggy. Um, I like that. That's really nice. Like it was originally gravel, but then it got trampled a lot. Uh, they threw some wood down because it was muddy and they didn't want it to be all slippery. So they threw some wood down. Um, so I like that. Let's put a little bit more gravel in, in the mix. I don't have a ton of gravel, so I want to keep it kind of to a minimum, but I also want it to make sense too, you know? All right. I like that. I'm going to go off camera here and get some food because I'm starving to freaking death. Um, so I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I got some pork chops here. So I'm good on food. Um, I did a few things off camera. I, I actually did a lot off camera. Shut up, phone. You freaking. It's good. It's all good. I did a lot of stuff off camera. The first thing I did was I worked on this pathway. And I, I made it all the way up to that hill there. So we got a nice uh, pathway. This is going to help kind of feel out the place a little bit. We're going to add a lot more buildings along this pathway, of course, but um, this will give us an idea of the feel and what it's going to look like. Um, uh, another thing I did off camera was I worked on these torch posts. I don't know how I feel about them just yet, but if you guys have any ideas, feel free to shoot them in the comments. This is just something very simple that I came up with. If you guys have any other ideas, then I'd love to hear them. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind, uh, like I said, I want this to be kind of back in the 1800s feel. So you got to think they probably used torches back then. If not, then some kind of lamp post design or something. I don't know. Uh, this is just something very simple. We might change this because uh, I don't really know how I feel about it just yet. I also, while I was getting my pork chops, I found uh, some oak and some birch trees. So I planted them. Uh, just so we can get some different types of wood in this area. I feel like spruce wood is all over the place. And, and although we pulled it off with this house, I think eventually it's going to get old and uh, kind of bland. You know what I mean? Also, what I did here, uh, I planted some piles of leaves along this house to give it a little bit more life. It was a little plain before. Uh, now this gives it a little bit of character. Uh, it, it looks like it belongs in the forest. Uh, and once we get some bone meal, I will bone meal this area too, just to give it more of an overgrown feel. Not really overgrown, but you know what I mean. Just give it some life, because right now it's just grass on the ground with a few piles of leaves. Not that that's bad, but you know, you want to make it look as real and as good as possible. Over here, I worked on the horse area, the horse uh, tie-up area, and I just put down some coarse dirt just to simulate horses trampling although we don't have any horses yet but we will we'll get some horses uh, so yeah that's what I did also interior wise I started work on an interior and I don't know it's kind of blocky right now but I don't I don't know <laughs> what do you guys think it's it's kind of plain but I have some ideas here uh, first thing let's get some trap doors or not trap doors pressure plates one two three four I was thinking plates, maybe? Plates on a table? That's not bad. Um, and item frames, too. Do I have any leather? I do. Let's make some item frames. Item frames are perfect for uh, interior design stuff. You can do so much with them. Um, and trap doors, too. You can do a lot with trap doors. Is this how you make an item frame? I forget. There we go. Item frame. Probably could use some more sticks. That's a lot of freaking sticks, man. There we go. Hey, wait a minute. That's not how you do it. This is how you do it. There we go. Nailed it. All right. Let's see what we can make here. That's not bad, just how it is right there. Or 
we could put them on the sides. Let's put them on the sides, and then we could possibly do a door or a sign. I feel like a door would look better. Let's see what we can make here. Um, spruce door. That's a lot of doors I'm about to make. How many do we need? We need four, right? I think I had an extra door that would have made it perfect. Maybe not. Uh, all right, and we just place it right here. Doom, doom, doom. That looks pretty good for a dining room table, right? Actually, do I have any oak wood? Oak wood tree growed yet? No. Let's take a sleep. Where's my bed? Over here. I need some more oak wood. I have an idea for these... Uh, for these for this table here instead of using planks I thought about just using stairs but I don't have enough wood for that just yet uh, hmm. uh, I got the stairway going upstairs I don't think we're gonna get to this in this episode but uh, a little upstairs area for a bedroom or two these 1800s houses I looked up some pictures of the interior and there's nothing too special about the interiors because uh, you got a picture, somebody built this, this cabin, um, pretty, pretty much by themselves. You know, they they chopped down trees and they built these cabins. So there's nothing crazy about them. It's just kind of here's my my family's home. <laughs> we eat in in the living room down here. We got the fireplace. Uh, we'll probably do so, a little uh, little chairs or something in this area. Uh, but really, nothing special. You got the the place to eat, the dining room table, uh, and the <laughs> and the kitchen over here, which will work out some cabinet designs too. Um, but yeah, nothing crazy. Uh, one thing I want to do, like I said, I think I said earlier in the video, I want to um, turn off the fire tick, uh, and then once we get nether brick, we'll make a little fireplace here. Um, but I'm wondering if they had, I don't think they had couches back in the day. I think it was just chairs. Uh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. They probably did have couches. I think they did. Like a uh, uh, sofa. We might put a sofa here uh, once we get some materials together. But I think we got a good little start here on our interior. Um, now one thing I was thinking for these little torch areas. Let's do that with a cobblestone half slab kind of a little torch holder uh, and then we'll put one over here too whoops not like that like that looks good I like it um, is our trees grown yet no not grown and I don't have any bone meal <laughs> but I think it's gonna do it for this video guys nothing crazy kind of a shorter video I know but uh, we got some progress done I think we got the pathways worked out. We got these uh, torch posts in place. Uh, let me know how you feel about these torch posts because if they're no good, then we'll we'll find something else. Um, keep in mind, we don't have any glowstone yet. So uh, work them out with torches, if you would, please. Um, but like I said, guys, thanks so much for the support so far. You guys have been amazing. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, Please hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends, uh, comment. I love reading comments. Um, and thank you so much, guys. That's going to do it. We'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>